Yeah, and we, we actually know the circumstances more or less of how people have died. And I, I was messaging about this on social media. There, there have been clusters of freezing deaths. There have been tuberculosis deaths. There have been many deaths by violence, including hate crimes. Um, there have been deaths of very young people by, from pneumonia, things that are preventable. Um, there have been deaths by fire. Uh, and these are all related to people being outside or in inadequate shelter. Um, nearly all the deaths are violent or unnecessary. There's really only one or two or three names there where somebody died maybe in palliative care. The deaths are all premature. The, the average age of uh, a man or woman dying is uh, 50 or under. Um, so the life expectancy is short and we have reams and reams of research and reports that show the effect of poverty and homelessness on health and yet what has the city done? They cancelled the cooling centre program. They're operating shelters at 100% capacity. On a cold alert night they will only open one warming centre for the entire city and it's in a hallway, a hallway at Metro Hall where people will only get a bag lunch, not even a hot meal there. So, um, so this, this 25,000 people um, from Toronto and around the world, to be quite honest, have signed this. It's going to keep growing and we're delivering it to the mayor's office today.